Hello, I'm Luke O'Neill, and here I am in my lab in the Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute. So this week, a very important breakthrough has happened, really. The big question has been, will the vaccine protect you from transmitting this disease? We know the vaccine, of course, stops you getting really sick and ending up in hospital. But a big question is, will it stop you being infectious? And Israel, who, of course, are well at the head of the game on the vaccination campaign, have just published data showing the answer is yes, this vaccine, the Pfizer vaccine in particular, will stop you becoming infectious, which means now the virus stops spreading. The word is transmission for this. They showed that there was a 4.5-fold decrease in the amount of virus in the noses of people who are vaccinated. And that means, of course, they'll spread the virus a lot less. This means we can think about the end game, and we've been longing for this in many ways. The pandemic will come to an end if we stop this virus spreading, either through our behavior or through vaccination. And now Pfizer seems to suggest this is a very powerful way to limit the virus. And one big question we've had is, can we start vaccinating children? Now in Ireland, 20% of the population are under 15, and that means to get to 80% herd immunity, we'll have to start vaccinating children is the uh, suggestion now. And Pfizer, Moderna and Sinovac, the Chinese company, have begun trials testing their vaccines in under 18s. Sinovac have got there first, amazingly, they've issued some data. They've had 500 children between the age of 13 and 18 and they got a very good response, very good antibody response, very good immunity is predicted in children. And now we'll move now towards more and more trials, more and more safety analysis, safety first of course in children, but the signs are good, these vaccines should be safe and efficacious in children and that will mean of course we can start vaccinating children protecting them and then getting rid of the virus from our community by achieving herd immunity a really interesting study has just come out on how the virus manipulates our cells. Now the virus of course goes inside cells in your lungs and begins to hijack all the machinery. It needs nutrients to grow and one nutrient it really needs is called folic acid. Now folic acid is kind of well known as a nutrient. Uh, women expecting to get pregnant or an early pregnancy are told to take it. Folic acid helps them build certain parts of the embryo as it grows and develops and lo and behold the virus sucks up folic acid and it uses folic Folic acid to make copies of itself as a key nutrient. The good part about this is there's a drug that can block folic acid metabolism, it's called methotrexate. And in fact, methotrexate is used to treat rheumatoid arthritis because it stops folic acid being used in inflammation and that dampens down inflammation. But here we have the virus now using up folic acid to grow. If you block that, you might stop the virus growing. So of course now trials have begun with methotrexate as a possible way to slow down this virus. And a US-based study has looked at, has lockdown caused an increase in becoming overweight and obesity? And the suspicion was it might, because being locked down might mean less exercise. They analyzed loads of people's Fitbits. They got people to weigh themselves over the course of four or five months. And overall, the average weight gain per month is about a half a kilogram, which is not insubstantial. So there we have evidence now that lockdown actually promotes people becoming overweight. This is a serious thing because being overweight can have all kinds of health consequences. So now they're saying we must encourage people to take as much exercise as possible, especially in a lockdown situation. So very important information there. So you can hear about these stories and more on my weekly COVID-19 update with Pat Kenny on Newstock.